So cholesterol is a waxy substance, ultimately fat, that's in our body. And we do need cholesterol to live a, a relatively healthy, normal life. But when we have an excess amount of cholesterol, that's when trouble could ensue. High cholesterol is a situation where there's too much cholesterol circulating in your bloodstream, and that can lead to a situation where plaques build up on the inside of the arteries in the walls. When you have plaques in your arteries, think of it like a blockage in a drain in your house. The water doesn't flow as well, and in the case of the body, when blood's not flowing to an area, it causes problem. If it's your heart, it can cause angina, it can cause Heart, heart attacks, if it's your brain, you can get strokes, and if it's your lower legs, you can lose a limb because you're not getting enough blood flow. It also can affect your kidney function because we do also have arteries in our kidneys, and with time, it could cause your kidneys to sort of not function appropriately, which can make your blood pressure raise. Having high cholesterol doesn't necessarily mean that you have heart disease, but it definitely increases your risk of developing heart disease down the line. The thing about high cholesterol is there's no symptom unless you happen to be unlucky enough to have a heart attack or a stroke or some manifestation of cardiovascular disease. But you could have cholesterol levels in the two or three, 400 range and have really no symptoms. So knowing your numbers and knowing your numbers at a particular age are very important because it allows you to say, do I need lifestyle changes? Do I need to be started on medications, for example? Additionally, knowing your risk factors are important as well because that allows the doctor to say, maybe you should be screened a little bit sooner than what's recommended by the guidelines out there.